Here is everything Apple announced at WWDC 2017. It was a packed event this year, and Apple specifically covered six areas. First off is tvOS. The big news here is Amazon Prime Video is finally coming to the Apple TV and the TV app on iOS. And Tim Cook said there will be more on the Apple TV later this year. The second thing was Apple Watch. It is the number one selling smartwatch with best customer satisfaction, and today Apple announced watchOS 4. It has a new dock and new watch faces. One is a Siri watch face, which gives proactive updates throughout the day. Different appointments, routes home, movie tickets, many different cards can be shown here and acted upon. There's also a new kaleidoscope face and a Woody, Jesse, and Buzz Lightyear face. Activity on the Apple Watch has also been updated with more personalized coaching, monthly challenges, the workout app has a new UI with new workout types, you can do multiple workouts in one session, and gym machines now also support two-way communication between the Apple Watch to give you more accurate tracking. Finally, the music app has been redesigned to be focused on what you listen to. There are many smaller updates with this release and the developer preview will be out today with a free upgrade for everyone in the fall. The third thing was Max. Apple introduced the next version of Mac OS called High Sierra. It features a faster Safari with autoplay blocking and tracking prevention. Also, Mail now has search improvements and split view for Compose Windows. And Mail now uses 35% less disk space than before. Photos is also updated with new organization tools. Faces are being synced across devices and updated photo editing with curves, selective color, and third-party support. iSierra also features the new Apple file system, which is faster and more secure. On the video side of things, H.265 is now natively supported, and there is a big improvement to graphics with Metal 2. This is significantly faster and has support for features like machine learning, external graphics, and VR. macOS High Sierra is available today for developers as a beta and will be out for free for everyone in the fall for all systems that currently support Sierra. Then Apple talked about the iMac. It's now updated with a new brighter display, KB Lake processors, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, standard Fusion drives on the 27-inch model, faster SSDs, two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, and better graphics. And they are powerful enough for VR, which ILM demoed. Then Apple announced updates to the MacBook and MacBook Pro with Kaby Lake processors. The MacBook Pros also get faster SSDs and graphics, and a price cut to the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Finally, Apple gave a sneak peek at a new iMac Pro. This is a space gray high-end iMac with up to an 18-core Xeon processor, AMD Radeon Vega graphics, up to 128 gigabytes of memory, up to four terabytes of SSD, and four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It starts at $5,000 and will be available in December. Now, the fourth thing Apple talked about was iOS 11. This latest update has new features in Messages, with a new app drawer and Messages in iCloud, so they are synced between devices. Apple Pay is now person-to-person -person in Messages as well, and Siri has a new voice, new interface, and new features for translation and syncing across devices. The camera was also updated with new HEVC and HEIF formats for photos and video. There's also improved portrait mode, and there's a new depth API for developers. And Live Photos also saw an update with new controls like looping. There's also a major redesign to the control center. Now there is only one page with 3D touch support to see more content. And the lock screen and notification center have merged into one. Maps also gets an update with detailed floor plans for malls and airports, and there are improvements to navigation. Importantly, there is a new feature called Do Not Disturb While Driving, which stops notifications while driving to help prevent distracted driving. HomeKit saw an update as well with support for speakers and AirPlay 2, which comes with multi-room audio. And in Apple Music, you can now see what your friends are listening to, as well as MusicKit for Apple Music integration into third-party apps. The App Store has also been fully redesigned, with a new Today tab for information on different apps, a new Game tab, and a new App tab. 
Metal 2 is also coming to iOS, and there is support for machine learning for developers and a new AR kit for augmented reality. And this will help developers implement AR into their apps easily. iOS 11 beta is out today for developers and will be out for free in the fall for everyone. The fifth thing Apple talked about was the iPad, and it introduced a new 10.5 inch iPad Pro. It has a larger screen with smaller bezels, so it's still small and light, coming in at one pound. The iPad Pros now also have a brighter true tone display with something called ProMotion. This supports a 120 hertz refresh rate, which gives smoother motion and better Apple pencil support. On the inside, the iPad Pros are powered by a new 6-core A10X processor with a 12-core GPU. On the back, the iPad Pro has the iPhone 7 camera system, and it now has USB 3 with faster charging over lightning. There are also new cases to hold the iPad Pro, and they start at 64 gigabytes of memory. They can be ordered today starting at 649 for the 10.5 inch model, and they will be shipping next week. Apple then talked about an update to iOS 11 specifically for the iPad. It now has a new dock for moving between apps, and it has better multitasking with a new app switcher. Also, there is now full support for drag and drop between different apps using text, images, and links. There's also a new Flick keyboard for accessing special characters, and a big addition, a new Files app. This app gives one place for all of your files stored in iCloud and other apps like Dropbox. There's also an update for markup with the Apple Pencil. In Notes, your handwriting is now searchable, you have inline drawings, a document scanner, and screenshot markup. Now, the last thing Apple talked about is called the HomePod. This is a speaker for the home. It's covered in fabric, has a seven array tweeter at the bottom and a four inch subwoofer. It has an A8 chip to power it and a six microphone array for talking to it. Apple's focus on this is high quality audio and Apple Music, but it is controlled through Siri. And because of this, you have many different controls that you'd expect from a home assistant. And it has support for things like HomeKit. This HomePod speaker will be coming in December, comes in space gray and white, and will sell for $349. So that is everything Apple announced at WWDC 2017. There are things that Apple didn't talk about, so be sure to stay tuned here to the channel and MacRumors.com for full coverage on those.